All right, I'm ringing about their magazines. Have you still got them available? Yeah, just one moment, please. All right. Hello. Hi, I'm calling about their magazines. How are you? Have you got any Wonder Woman magazines? Wonder Woman? No, hey. those, those, those are American modern ones. Oh, my son loves them. Yeah, well, they're, they're, too, they're too modern. No, my son, you love them. Yes. Yeah, but they're too modern. I mean, say, the stuff I've got is from 1920s upwards. No, he loves vintage magazines. He's into anything vintage. Yeah, well, he's, as I said, the, uh, they're from about 1927. Oh, he's going to uh, love them. Onwards. He's going to love them. Yeah. How much would you take for the lot of them? For the lot? Yeah, and how many are there? Uh, for the lot of them, the whole kick and boogle. Well, <laughs> uh, I've never really thought of somebody taking the, the whole lot apart. And yeah, they've just come into a bit of money, and I thought yeah. I'd treat the sun. Yeah, well, it'd be quite a lot. Oh, he loves the magazines. Oh, he loves them. Yeah, well, I, I can only give you an example, like uh, anything between five and ten pounds a copy. And how many have you got of them? How many? Oh, three. Altogether, close, close on 4,000. Oh, my Lord, I didn't know you had that many. It's a bit too well, many. They're the, the from 1927 up to about 1990. And you've there's, got... all, there's all sorts of stuff. And you've we've also, also got some... Uh, we've also got some very, very old books on uh, on military and war and stuff like that. Oh, no, we can't be doing with military. No, oh, yeah. that's military. Right, and whereabouts are you? Have you got any smash it? Any what? Have you got any smash it for the daughter? Or any number ones? Do you know, from, do you know their own magazines? Yeah, um, I've got things like uh, Jackie. Um, oh, I never liked Jackie. Oh, I was thinking, you can't go around bringing magazines up on the vintages. Do you know the kids? Do I know the what? I was saying, I'd love to bring up the kids on vintage magazines. Hey, where are you about? On the Wirral. Oh, you're in the Wirral? Yeah. Just over the water, isn't it? Yes, yes. How, and how did you find it, living in the Wirral? Do you enjoy, is it a nice place to live like? Oh, yes. And how long have you been living there, then? Um... Myself personally, about uh, about eight years. And where did you originate from? Cheshire. Ah, I'm from um, Cornwall. Yes, I gathered that. I but I've not been. I ain't been there for a while now. Very often. Oh, really? Yeah. I would love to go back. You know. Yeah, so would I. I lived in Wales for a good while as well. Yes, I did. I had a house in Wales. Oh my God, we've got so much in common. And we're, I used to live in Betsy Cold. I lived at um, Colwyn Bay. Oh, it's a nice place, that is. Oh my God, the great home. Oh, I bet, you're, I bet you took some great pictures. I'm a keen photographer myself. Yes, I used to be, but uh, somebody pinched my camera not so long ago. Oh, you're joking. Oh my God, I can't get over that. That must have been, that must have nearly killed you. Well, it did, because there's all the pictures that were still on it. Oh, I'm really sorry to weigh that. Yeah. That's really terrible. I take anyway. pictures with a medium format camera. In, uh, oh, in comics and magazines. Oh, he loves comics, me son. Yeah, well, I've got lots of dandies and beanos. Oh, my lordy, he loves the dandy. I was just about to say he loves the dandy. Yes, well, oh, I've got... a good dandy. Oh, God bless you, Mother. Anyway, yeah. it's a good job she did it because um, you get yearning a few bob now, ain't you? Oh, I can't be believe you were on the telly. Is it on YouTube? Um, I very much doubt it. Oh, you should put it on, and I'd like to have a look. I, oh, I do know my daughter was on the BBC, and um, there was a place where she contacted, and they sent her a DVD. Oh, did they? No, well, I'll have to try that because I've got a few friends in the BBC. Yes, but uh, she had to pay 20 quid. All oh, right. But it'd be worth it, wouldn't it, to have a copy? Well, possibly. It's because I had a lot of other stuff as well. I had some uh, toy cars there and uh, um, an 1865 uh, overmantle. Oh, lovely. Some, some old prints. Oh, I love vintage photographs. Have you got any, have you got any of them for sale? No, these are, act these are prints. I love to collect the old um, Hollywood movies. Do you know, like um, Joan Crawford and Betty Davis? 
Well, I'll tell you what I have got that you might like. Uh, I've got the cross print, um, still life, of Mary Pickford. Oh, Murray! Yeah. I wasn't very keen on Mary Pickford. No, it's the only one I've got left that's, uh, that's pretty old. All the others are pretty, uh, pretty modern. I believe she was on sure as a bitch to work with um, Murray Pickford. Well, maybe, but a lot of them were. So was Barbara Stanwyck and Betty Davis. Aye. Yeah, the other. I know, but yeah. Bert, Bertie Davis was a legend. Yeah, they were all. They all had tempers. Aye. Yeah. But uh, I think we all have tempers, really, don't we? Oh yeah. Right. Anyway, best thing I can suggest. Make a list of all the sorts of magazines and comics that you're interested in. I'll make a list. Yeah, and then make a list of the ones that you want. Uh, and then give me a ring over the weekend. And we'll go through the list. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I can tell you what's left. And uh, you can perhaps come over and have a look. Oh, great. That would be lovely. Yeah. All right, so, then I'll make the list then and I'll call you back. Make a list. And uh, as I said, because... Uh, at the moment, I'm sending probably 20, 30 a week all over the place. They're going to all, all over. They're going to uh, America and Canada, New Zealand, Australia. Oh, my lordy. So you yeah. keep them really busy. Well, this is it. But uh, it's amazing how much these things cost to post. Oh, I know. And the um, inflation of postage has gone up as well lately. Well, I, I, sent, I, sent, I sent five... Um, Five copies of the Beano to a, to a guy. He asked for particular uh, numbers, you see. Uh, it so happened to had these numbers. Well, it, comple- it completed his set because he had a set that was 1957 and he was missing five numbers. Now, I had those five numbers. Oh, worry. Was it about £14 to post? Uh, slightly more than that because they had to be sent in short postage. Oh, I see. How much was it? At uh, 19. Oh, 19, oh. Well, well, but it was to Canada, you see. Oh, I see. It's so they've, got to, they've got to go airmail. They've got to go insured. And uh, as I said, it's, it's a, a hell of a price. I well, know. It's, well, it's 80, it's 80 odd pence just to send a Christmas card. And did you make the, um, did you make the buyer pay? I hope you make the buyer pay. Oh, yes, yeah, everything's plus postage. Oh, wonderful. And, uh, uh, I tell them it, it's, it's advisable to send them in short postage as well, knowing what the post office is like. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't send anything now unless it's been insured. No. Anyway, you can't do, do make a list up. Office. Make a list up and give me a ring over the weekend. Oh, and do you have any adult magazines? Oh, only vintage ones. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that would be lovely. We are interested in adult magazines from the vintage area. Yeah, well, 1950s, 1960s, um, Playboy, things like that. Oh, just what we're after. Right, well, make a full, full list of everything you want. You haven't got the Merle Monroe one, have you? The first no. Playboy. No. Um, all I've got, um, all I've got is uh, a book um, on Marilyn Monroe. And uh, it's uh, on the front, it's um, a picture of her from the seven year itch. Uh, I was mainly interested in um, Playboy. Yeah. Well, as I said, there's only about half a dozen of those left. And you know your vintage magazines? Are they, yes. all, are they all like, um, are they showing me? Are they showing? Are they sh- are they, have they got the leg spread? No, they, these aren't. Uh, they didn't have magazines like that in 1927. Oh, so they're not showing the meat? No. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. Anyway, make your list and give me a ring over the weekend. I, I love a bit of meat. Right. Okay. I'll right. give you a list. Right. And then okay, I'll call then. you back. Right. Okay. Okay, take care. Right. Bye. Bye-bye.